Tom runs a one-man business which revolves around him building wooden swords that he sells at 10 bucks each. Last year, he sold 10,000 swords, generating a grand total of $100,000. We call this amount his revenue. Unfortunately for him, he doesn't just keep the entire amount. First of all, there are direct costs involved in making the swords. These are called COGS, as in cost of goods sold. In his case, we'll say they amount to $4 per sword that he spends on materials. If he had employees, there would be direct labor costs as well. After subtracting the $40,000 cost of goods sold from the $100,000 revenue, we are left with a so-called $60,000 gross income, also referred to as gross profit or gross earnings. Once again, however, he doesn't keep this amount either because there are more than just direct costs involved. Tom's business also has expenses such as rent and taxes need to be paid. Let's say his expenses including rent amount to $25,000 yearly, whereas taxes amount to $20,000 per year. After subtracting the $25,000 expenses and $20,000 for taxes, we are only left with $15,000 called the net income, net profit, or net earnings. Since this amount is usually found on the last line of the income statement of a company, it's also referred to as the bottom line. Broadly speaking, that's pretty much it.